Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Michael Coates here in the First Alert Weather Center. It's been a crazy morning and midday, especially for areas around Pocatello and the lower Snake River Plain. Some spots getting well over five inches, especially in those eastern benches near the Portneuf Wellness Complex. We're continuing to see snow in the forecast, stretching all the way from Island Park into northern Utah. And the snow is still with us. It is slowly making its way out of here, but it's going to be with us for a good chunk of the early afternoon hours. By about 6, 7 o'clock later tonight, we'll start to shake off a lot of the snow and we'll lose those winter weather advisories. But bottom line here, we also have a lot of wind out there. So we have blowing and drifting snow, blowing that snow back over the interstates and the area highways. So travel this afternoon still could be increasingly difficult with all the wind and the snow that's still falling out there. So watch out for the snow for this afternoon. We'll begin to lose the snow later tonight as we lose this area of low pressure and we welcome in cold, windy weather here for tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get awfully chilly. Not a lot of wind for tomorrow, but just really cold temperatures temperatures in there for Saturday. Highs will be in the upper 20s tomorrow, lows down into the teens and single digits tonight, and then we're warming up slightly, ever so slightly for Sunday and Monday. We got some snow out there for Sunday and Monday with scattered snow showers to get us started for the approaching week. Temperatures do get back into those mid to upper 30s by Monday with a shot of some rain and snow. Make sure you join us tonight at 5 and 530 on Local News 8. We'll have the very latest coming up in that first alert forecast, but watch out for the snow. It's still going to be with us at least for the next few hours, especially for areas of the lower Snake River Plain, Pocatello, and getting down into Utah along the I-15 corridor. Bye for now.